New ATF rules starting today, now regulating ghost guns just like any other firearm. But California began regulating ghost guns years ago. And even Los Angeles has a law in the books. Tonight, CBS2 senior reporter Ross Palumbo is here with data on whether those laws have actually been working, something you'll see only on two, Ross. Well, the federal regulation is new tonight, but here in California, we've been ahead of the curve with California and L.A. laws, one even going back to 2018. Well, tonight we've learned the number of ghost guns in Los Angeles alone has only exploded since then. And for all of our legal attempts to stop thousands of guns, we've now discovered that only 56 cases have been prosecuted in the county and city since all of those laws went into effect. LAPD coming face to face with the problem shooting a suspect before they say he could shoot them with a ghost gun. And they would start seeing it, you know, take off. Deputy Chief Chris Pritchett says the number of guns found has taken off by some 400% in the last five years. 813 found in 2020, jumping to 1,921 in 2021. An 133% increase to show you the proliferation of guns. Why do you think it jumped so dramatically? The availability. To make them unavailable, Los Angeles becoming one of the first cities to pass a law this year making not only ghost guns, but buying and selling their parts and pieces illegal. It became a crime to own one of these ghost guns. Absolutely. What changed? So we're, we're still seeing the issues. And as the issue persists, the city has only seen its new law used to prosecute 14 cases, 14. All while Los Angeles has also seen more than 1,000 additional ghost guns so far this year. We have 1,058 ghost guns booked in 2022, and we've got about five months left in the year. That's still a lot. Yeah. And the damage is also a lot. In the past eight months, ghost guns have been used in nine murders, 31 attempted murders, and hundreds of other serious crimes. Did the law help? So I think as it gets rolling out there. California rolled out a similar state law four years before the city, requiring registration of ghost guns by engraving serial numbers on them. The state even strengthening its law two months ago, restricting the sale of unserialized ghost gun firearm kits, parts, and pieces. You know, Senator Massey said, you know, possessing these weapons without a serial number is not acceptable. Is that message working? Um, not very well. In fact, Los Angeles County has only used the state law to prosecute 42 cases. Most of those, including 22 last year and 11 so far this year, prosecuted by District Attorney George Gascon. Are you surprised that the numbers are still going up? I, I am not. Are those numbers concerning? Those numbers are frightening. But now the entire country has a new weapon in its arsenal. It gets shipped in a box that looks like this. This week, new ATF rules go into effect, redefining all these ghost gun parts and pieces as actual firearms, and now requiring them to be regulated across the entire country when they're bought and sold just like traditional guns. 90% of the purchasing of ghost guns, number one, is happening through the internet. Number two, people are paying through either MasterCard, Visa, or American Express. And Gascon says for the first time, another AR-15 lower receiver. California can now effectively stop internet sales by stopping credit card companies from processing illegal transactions. It is now a federal crime. Now it's very clear. You cannot sell these things anywhere in the country. Fewer sales means fewer guns and may ultimately mean fewer incidents like this. Okay, it's okay. Is that going to help across the country? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, it, it basically prevents the ghost guns. Now, it won't stop everything, but it, it uh, will stop, you know, a lot. Well, tonight, both the LAPD and the DA say laws can't solve everything. And tonight, we do know that California's law and LA's ordinance 
haven't seemed to made a dramatic difference at all, at least not yet. But this new ATF rule that goes into effect tonight is going to help the DA here stop the sale of ghost guns over the Internet. And Gascon is predicting that that is the missing piece. He predicts that this time next year we will see a dramatic decline in mm. the number of ghost guns we find on the streets and the number that mm. is used in these violent crimes. Because of the decline in sales. Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, Ross, thank you very much. Look for those results, yeah, Ross. Absolutely. Thank you.